All right, so I'm sure a lot of you are looking at the title of this vid. You're probably wondering what the hell this cat is up to this time. But we'll get to that. Um, as some of you know, most of you should know, uh, Yue Yue, Long Yue, the uh, two-year-old Chinese toddler who was um, the victim of a hit and run not only by one vehicle but two vehicles and she was passed up by 18 people passed away a couple of days ago uh, she had brain failure upon admission to the hospital and ultimately had organ failure wherein this tragic story was brought to an end one could argue maybe a more peaceful end considering the implications of her injuries um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the debate for human morality is on. It's on. It's on the wired. Which is what we're doing right now. And you know what? It's even down on the streets. Uh, I've been doing a lot. Specifically with um, local Occupy movements about this particular topic and people might be saying oh well isn't Occupy about um isn't it about the, the bankers and about Wall Street and about uh, corporations financing politicians and in a sense buying them and the creation of class division and poverty by design and so on and so on and so on and you know what at the macroscopic level, yes, that's what it's about to some degree. And I know there's a lot of people saying, oh, there's conflicting messages within the Occupy movement. And I'll talk about that in another video. This isn't an Occupy Wall Street plug. This is an Occupy Your Heart plug. At the microscopic level, why this is about Occupy is that I've seen this particular event unfold a great many times throughout this country and throughout the many other countries I have visited. And I have come to the conclusion that the value of profit incentive has trickled down. It's trickled down from the people we blame for the ailments of our nation and the economy, the illness. And that individually, a great many of us are motivated by a profit incentive. That was the case for the driver, wherein it was cheaper for him to hit shall you wait, you shall you wait, you wait. It just means little, shall means little and uh, hope that she died as opposed to helping her or the people that passed her up due to uh, the litigation processes in China wherein people that aid those in need can be held liable for compensatory damages. So what it boiled down to for a lot of the people involved in this tragedy was uh, a profit incentive. They were motivated by money. Now, I get it. Uh, there are a lack of good Samaritan laws in China if we look at that particular case. Um, and I have a feeling that there will be reform coming from Beijing soon. A lot of people have <laughs> accused the Chinese of being soulless. And I would argue once more that this is a problem afflicting the entirety of the human condition. Uh, regardless of where one may hail from. Uh, there are plenty of examples here and abroad through and throughout this world wherein this kind of horrible event occurs. It's not always reported because there isn't always CCTV footage available, but the Chinese have been in an uproar over this. Uh, they've been in an absolute uproar over this online and in the streets. And uh, 
for those of you that don't buy that, well, I'll just have Ling make a video then because uh, she's been posting a lot on it. She's been on uh, QQ and um, Cena Weibo and the various blogging sites throughout the Chinese realm of the internet. But back to Occupy. I've come to the conclusion, and again, I've spread this message throughout the streets, that one cannot occupy a street before occupying one's own heart. Uh, there, there's been a fundamental flaw brewing as of late within this human experience in that our value system has been horribly rewritten, wherein the qualities... I, I, I hate to call them qualities, but if you look at social norms, that's what they've become. But the qualities of power, greed, individualism, disconnectivity are preferred over the prior values of sympathy, care, concern, empathy, generosity, altruism. So I posit this to a lot of the people that are involved in Occupy. Uh, we, we, we must not only maintain our message of political reform, but we must also promote a newer human condition or revert to the older human condition wherein the values that our societies and civilizations were really built upon going way back to hunter-gatherer days wherein we needed each other there was a disconnectivity meant death it meant death but we need to bring these values back or at least give them a priority once more because I, I look at the pictures, and all of you should, uh, like this picture right here, and I never want to show this again, this picture right here, how is it that we can walk about with our heads up and be able to look ourselves in the mirror knowing that a horrible neglect brought a child unto this kind of situation and once more these situations are not limited to China. The Chinese do not place a lesser value on human life that's just ridiculous. And then we move on to these pictures. Wang Yue's mother in tears knowing that her child will probably die. Wang Yue's father in tears, knowing that his child will probably die. That could have been you. Uh, I know a lot of you, a lot of my subs and friends here on YouTube are proud parents. And that could have been you. That could have been you over the body of your child. A child wrestled from this world partially due to neglect, human neglect profit incentive, their need for a profit incentive, as opposed to extending their hand to somebody in need. Uh, this little angel is teaching us a big lesson here, and I really hope that this, um, this particular tragedy doesn't get swept away amongst the other tragedies, because this particular one, I think, is one that is far more relatable to each and every one of us. Because we're parents, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're sons and daughters, we're friends, best friends, and we need connectivity once more. Because once more, without that, we don't survive. So at the end of the day, and I said this in a prior video, and I'll put a link to the Wang Yue series I did that kind of goes into more detail as to the technical aspects of all this. I hate to speak for Yue Yue, but I would think that one of her final wishes would be this message of occupying your heart so that we as a people rediscover the values that once held us together. And we as a people share a care and concern for each other so that we as a people never ever allow for this to happen within our own realm of influence. We share 
the sympathy and empathy and the altruism that was never shown Yue Yue, or was shown to her far too late into the predicament, the tragedy. Let's come together again, people. Let's connect again. Occupy your heart. And then occupy whatever else you feel necessary afterwards. That's all I got for now, people. And it's certainly something for you to think about and for me to continue pondering. Rest in peace, Wang Yue. I only wish that this lesson didn't have to be learned at the expense of your precious, beautiful life. Peace.